Welcome back to the Getting Started with OpenScope MZ video series. I'm Sam Kristoff from Digilent, and in this video, I'll introduce you to the Waveforms Live instrument panel and show you how to take your first measurement. To get started in Waveforms Live, I'll click on a device card to set it as the active device and navigate to its instrumentation panel. The Waveforms Live instrumentation panel is divided into two main areas. Along the right is the controls panel, which provides access to all the instrumentation on the OpenScope MZ. I won't go into detail on these now, but we'll do a separate video on each one later. The rest of the screen is dedicated to the chart, where we'll display your data. I've connected the function generator to OScope channel 1, so let's acquire some data by turning on the wave gen and clicking single. The OpenScope MZ acquires a buffer of data, returns it to Waveforms Live, which graphs it on the chart. The main chart area is my current view of the data, but it's not the entire buffer. If you look at the timeline view above, it shows the entire buffer and shades regions that are outside of our current view. The trigger point shows as a green vertical line in both the chart and the timeline. I can manipulate the data in the chart by scrolling to zoom and clicking and dragging to pan. I could also do this using controls in the controls panel. I can grab the anchor to vertically offset a channel and I can grab the trigger threshold anchor to manually set the trigger point. There are also other hotkeys for things like setting the volts per division by holding shift and scrolling. You can think of this as vertical zoom. And if you hold shift and click and drag, you can do a vertical offset. Between the controls panel and the chart, we have some additional buttons. The first one will bring up an FFT view of the signal. You can see my one kilohertz sine wave has a peak right at one kilohertz. By hovering over the signal, you can see the actual value. I'll click FFT again to turn that off. The next button will auto scale the chart so that you can see the entire buffer. If I click that, you can see I see the entire buffer in my main chart and there's nothing hidden. Below that is the center on trigger button. If I pan off to one side and click that button, it'll bring the trigger back to the center of my screen. Next is the export button, which allows me to export as CSV. or as a PNG. Below that is a button to display the device pinout, so you can easily tell which flywire connects to which instrument. Finally, is a button to reset the device in case you need to reset your OpenScope remotely. Along the bottom of the instrument panel is a button to toggle cursors on and off and configure them as well as to add math functions. And we'll talk about both of these later as well. That does it for the overview of the Waveforms Live instrumentation panel, but make sure to check out the next few videos where we'll talk about each instrument in detail.